Something that hot tub owners should do more is clean their hot tub filters. Uh, I stress this over and over again. This is usually the, the cause of bubbles. People complain about bubbles in the hot tub all the time. And, you know, there's a lot of things on the market like anti-foam uh, chemicals that you add to the water and that's supposed to reduce the surface tension of the water and make it harder for bubbles to be there. But the real thing that you should do is address why there's bubbles there to begin with. That's why when you first fill up your hot tub, there tends to be less bubbles. Then over time, you notice that there's more and more. There's a number of reasons that could cause that, but probably the number one is just that the, the filters are dirty. So you should be cleaning your filters. If you use your hot tub every day and two to four people use it every day, then I would clean my hot tub filter every week. Why wait three weeks or a month or three months in between changing your filters out? Get a whole bunch of them, and that way you can swap them out all the time and have you know clean ones ready to go on hand all the time, and that way you don't have to try to push it and get extra time, and then you end up with a less pleasant hot tub experience because there's so much foam every time you turn on the jets. So you should go to a hot tub store and buy hot tub chemicals. That's what I always tell to people. Don't try to shortcut what you're putting in your water because you might be adding stuff that you know is not congruent with water chemistry or there could be fillers that are you know causing problems with how well you can balance your water so i am a fan of saying go to the hot tub store buy your hot tub chemicals there that being said i clean my filters all the time and doing so with hot tub filter cleaner it actually adds up being one of the more expensive products that i, that I end up using so what i do to clean my hot tub filters is I use a dishwasher detergent. What you're looking for is just very simple with dishwasher detergent. You're looking for something that's granular, which this is, but most importantly, it says right down here on the bottom, phosphate free. That's the most important thing that you're looking for when you're looking for uh, you know, a cheap economy bulk product that you can use for cleaning your hot tub filters all the time. So I just look for the, the lowest price granular dishwasher detergent I can find I am sure that it's phosphate free and then I'm good to go. So the formula here that you use for cleaning your filters or that I use and you can uh, follow, uh, follow along for yourself, you don't really need five gallons of water. That's what I use. If you only have one filter, five gallons of water is a lot so you can scale it down. But as I said earlier, you should pick up a bunch of filters and that way you just have them on hand all the time and you don't need to be you know, worrying about constantly changing them out and cleaning them and having a cleaning cycle going all the time. Just stockpile a half dozen of them until they're dirty and then you can clean them all at once in a five gallon bucket. So specifically what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be adding one cup, one cup of granular dishwasher detergent to a five gallon bucket filled with hot water. Now specifically, I prefer hot water because what we're trying to do here is we're trying to cut through the grease and the oil and the scum that's built up on the paper that the filter is made out of. You can use cold water for this. I just prefer to use hot water. I find it does a better and especially a faster job if I'm in a hurry. Okay, so that's about a cup there. Just going to send that on in. Give it a stir. Good. Screaming hot. Excellent. And then just send in the dirty filters. You could let it sit overnight. Nothing wrong with doing that. And they're going to be nice and clean in the morning. You will have to do a very thorough rinse to them to rinse in between the pleats. Uh, however, if I were in a hurry and I was just trying to get this done quickly, what's the minimum time that I could work with? If I used hot water to clean these along with the dishwasher detergent, then I would say about one hour time you should be good to go to pull them out and then you're gonna rinse them down very thoroughly, and then you can return them to the spa and you can have clean filters all the time. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.